A source close to the Duke explained to Vanity Fair that the couple decided to quit royal life after Prince Harry had already been thinking about changing his lifestyle. The Duchess only triggered the reaction that led the couple to finally take the step to announce the news last year. The insider said, It came to the point where he wanted a different way of life. Meghan was simply the catalyst. In an interview with ITN's Tom Bradby in October 2019, the Duke had already confessed he and Prince William were on a different path. He said, We are brothers. We will always be brothers. We are certainly on different paths at the moment but I will always be there for him as I know he will always be there for me. We don't see each other as much as we used to because we are so busy but I love him dearly. The Duke admitted that he would protect his family from suffering a similar treatment as his mother. He said, I think I will always protect my family, and now I have a family to protect. However, according to a royal expert, Harry failed to properly prepare Meghan for life with the royal family. Royal commentator Ingrid Seward told Sky News that the Duke was so full of anger and so anti-media that he directed all his anger at the media. However, Moore Seward claimed he could have protected the Duchess' reputation by explaining to her how to gain the trust of the British public. She said, I think the one mistake that Meghan made is she didn't embrace the British people in a way that perhaps if Harry had helped her a little more, she could have done. The editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine added that Meghan could have become as likeable as Princess Diana and accused the former actress of shutting people out. She said, she could have had everyone eating out of her hand in a way that her late mother-in-law did, just by bringing people into her world. Instead, she shut people out of her world and that is where the rot began when people began to think this couple have no interest at all. 